I felt like doing a change of pace video today. Something a little bit different than I've been doing. Um, I'm just gonna take some big old night crawlers, some juicy night crawlers I got from Walmart. Got one fishing pole. I got a, just a small like wire panfish hook. And we're gonna fish this deep pole in this creek. And there's another deep pole that's kind of behind me. This creek's got a couple of few deep poles. There's a lot of different fish in this creek. Haven't fished it in a while. So I'm kind of curious to see what's in there, what's biting and what I can get out of it. We're just gonna go for whatever we can catch today. Just gonna sit here on this bucket fish this area for a while and try to catch some fish. I've just got one sink on it. It's kind of a slow flowing um, deep pool there. Actually on that one I put the whole night crawler. I usually don't do that but I just want to see if there's any bigger fish when I try to hit it first. This little uh, bluegill was really going after that whole big piece of worm. Well, we got something little. Uh, a little red breast. I know there's some bigger fish in here, but it didn't take long to get a couple little sunfish. Well, got a little rain coming down. It said just a slight chance of rain, it's supposed to pass over real quick, so I may have to put the camera up for a little bit. We'll see what happens. Well, the rain ended up being a little harder than I thought, so I moved under the bridge. But it's starting to let up a little bit, so I'm gonna hit a few places. Um, that little deep holes that there is around the bridge, see if I can get a few fish while it, till it really lets up. Oh, got him. Thought I missed him. Still little guys. There's some, where are these bigger ones at? A lot of times I can find, I've, I've found like nice big sunfish and even catfish bass and drums, stuff like that. And hoping to find some of those today, but we really only fished a little bit because I had to move spots because of the rain. All right, I'm just gonna pinch off a piece of night crawler. I'm using a size two, like a wire panfish hook. So it's it's not a super strong hook, but it, it works fine. As long as you're not yanking it really hard, it won't pull out of anything. And if you do get stuck on something, you can kind of pull it and bend it out. I just got one little split shot weight. And um, this little deep pull here, the current flows in right here and then it's kind of calm on the side. So I'm gonna cast it out, just let the current kind of drift it. Set it up on a little fork that I cut out of a tree and we'll just wait for something to tap on the line. Yep, it was a fish. He was taking off with it. No way, that's interesting. A yellow perch. All right, we've got a bluegill, red breast, and yellow perch. I didn't know that there'd be yellow perch right here. This creek always surprises me. There's all kinds of different things in it. And, uh, so, okay. Oh, my bad. Hold on. Put you back in there. I got, I'm using, tw oh yeah, it's a fish. Oh, yes. That feels better. Oh my God. Nice bluegill, there we go. This is the kind of fish I know that are in here. Some good, healthy sunfish. That's a pretty one, it's got that purplish color to him. That's a pretty fish. About swallowed my hook, so if I let him go any longer, I probably wouldn't have got it back. All right, that's a fun little, uh, nice blue, uh, bluegill. Another reason I wanted to um, do this type of fishing was I really wanted to test this new uh, rod out, this, this fishing rod, it's a, um, a medium, it's a medium, uh, extra fast arc 610, I think was the, the size on it. And, uh, I got a PCFN carbon X reel. I got 10 pound braid and a 
like an eight pound or 10 pound leader on it. And I wanted just to um, see how it felt. So, you know, just catching a bunch of variety of fish is a good way to get a feeling of how, how it bends and how strong it is. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty stiff rod um, for a medium. It's, it's got some good strength to it so far, it seems. So hopefully we can get something to really test it out. Yep, there's fish. Gotcha. Get over here. Oh, another nice bluegill. These are a thick bluegill. Yeah, we got a fish. Nice, this feels like a catfish. Awesome. I laid it down and went to get my other camera. Yeah, wait, wait, is it? It's something good. This pole is really strong too. It may be a drum. What is it? Oh, it's a nice drum. Since I'm fishing, oh, he's got me stuck. Since I'm fishing for fun, I'm excited with anything that's gonna pull. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a nice one. But remember, these wire hooks, they're, um, they're not super strong, so you don't wanna pull really hard when you catch a fish that weighs a couple pounds. This is the kind of fish that you can catch when you're fishing with worms. Just, you never, it's probably a two pound drum, you know, not a giant one but a fun catch out of this creek. Uh, something that really, really puts up a good fight and pulls good, so I'm happy to get that. We've been at this spot for less than 20 minutes probably. We've already got a good variety of fish. Come here. That kind of fish gets me pumped up out of this, you know, a creek in town catching a, a fish like that. I'd love to get a catfish, but I'll, I'll just take whatever, especially if I can get something like that. With some Canadian night crawlers and a fishing pole, you never know what you're going to catch out of the creek. We've been only fishing about, le we've been fishing less than an hour total from the little spot I stopped at and then here. So I can't wait to see what else we're going to get. Ooh, nice to go. Ooh, wow, nice red breast. Look at that one, that is an awesome looking red breast. Let's throw them back. When I'm fishing the bottom like this, um, the current's not real strong, but I'm always gonna cast downstream and I'm just gonna throw it downstream into the current a little bit and just let it settle let it sit down there that way i'm not raking over logs and trying not to get caught up in a bunch of different um, debris that's going to be in there if i try to throw upstream the current will push it down into rocks and debris if i throw it downstream it'll just kind of it'll just sink and settle and just kind of sit there well, when i reel it in i'm going to go ahead and reel it in really quick that way i don't drag it over all that stuff um there's no doubt there's all kinds of stuff throughout there but hopefully i'm i'm trying to avoid it trying to get it just to drop and settle in right at one spot. And that's a lot of these places where the fish are just coming up and feeding, just coming all over the area. Ooh. Oh, it's a good one. This is a big fish. It's another drum, not even as big as that last one. But he took off with it. <laughs> that dude took off. Well, that one took my hook, so I had to cut it off. Got it down there deep. 
I'm gonna throw them back in. All right, let's see if there's anything in here. What is that? That's a little bass. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get on a worm. A little large mouth. Well, I didn't ex really expect it, but they eat, uh, these, these fish in the creeks, a lot of times they eat, they all eat the same thing, all the same kind of predatory fish. They eat the same type of food, no matter the species. All right, get out of there. Yeah. We'll try to catch a couple more, but I might actually throw a spinner around for a little bit. Okay. Alrighty, that feels pretty good. Got a trip over here. What is it? Dude's fighting. Is that a... Whoa! That's a giant red ear. Man, I didn't bring my tape measure or anything with me over here. I don't think he's a uh, 11. I think it's gotta be 11 for like trophy size. But this thing is huge. It's the first red ear I've caught today too. Maybe they're at the back of that pool down there. Red ear, shell cracker, whatever you want to call it. Look at the size. I got pretty good sized hands. And that's a big one there. Not, not like giant, but that's a good one. <laughs> That's cool. And these things fight a little harder too. So it's a really pretty one. It's really bright red right there on his ear there. Nice. There's his gill there. There's definitely a lot of ways to fish and enjoy it. And some I find enjoyable, some I don't. Catching fish with just going to a creek bank or, you know, river bank, using some worms. It's always so relaxing. I, I love it. I don't want to do it all the time, but it's one of those things if I just want to chill out, I don't want to put too much pressure. I'm catching fish and not, you know, not too much effort into it. Let me just get some worms and see what happens. Caught six species of fish. Those drum were really fun. I was hoping a catfish would show up, but not this time, maybe next time. So I get asked every once in a while, just the people are trying to get into fish. I just want to start catching fish. And that right there, that is the best way to just start catching fish. Just start learning, you know, what kind of uh, lines you need, what kind of hooks you need, this and that, just catching different species. Just get some little worms, some night crawlers throw them in the water, just see what pulls back.